Well, good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Finally managed to get out today. It's been four weeks so far since Christmas and the weather's just been abysmal. And we've tried another two times since then to get out. And all it did, we came to this same spot actually, but we didn't actually get up to these waterfalls. It just absolutely poured down. So it's taken all this time just to get back into it again. But hopefully today is a sign of things to come and we can start creating content again. So nice to be back out. So today we've come to this, well, this waterfall on the side of the hill that we've noticed quite a few times of being here. It was absolutely raging last time we were here, pouring over because the amount of water. Not so much today, but what it has got going for it today is it's partly frozen. And I think what that's gonna give us is a lot more sort of little vignettes we can work with, not like an overall landscape scene, but little sections we can pick out where the, where the falls have frozen. Just see what we can work with, really. So I'm gonna have a walk around now and see what we can find. Take a few shots where this waterfall is and then maybe head up further up into the hills and see what we can find for later on. So I'll have a bit of a walk, walk around, see what I can find, and then I'll get you to the back of the camera and walk through what I'm seeing. Right guys, hopefully you can hear me above the noise of the waterfall. I just want to take you to the back of the camera and show you what I've lined up for my first shot. I'm using a square crop here. What I'll do is actually first, I'll press record on this so you can see what I'm seeing. Right. So what you should hopefully be able to see now is a square crop that I've got there. And on the top left corner, I've got more of an area where there's no water running. And I've tried to match that in the bottom right corner with another piece of um, rock, basically, with no water running across it. Just as so I can kind of line up both corners of my image so that they're kind of looking sort of balanced, if you know what I mean. I've got the focus point on that rock there. I'll just highlight it so you can see it. Just on that rock there, just above that cross into cross section in the bottom left there. Now, what I'm kind of aiming for is somewhere around a fifth to a sixth of a second, somewhere like that. I've got it at F16, ISO 100, and I'm kind of finding that somewhere around a fifth of a second, because of the amount of water that's falling and the speed that it's falling is working best for me. I haven't got any filters on because I don't really need them. I don't really need to polarize anything because I want to keep that detail as much as possible. I really like the frozen sections of the waterfall back there. I think they really stand out and add a bit of um, contrast to the water and the rocks surrounding it, and also a bit of interest as well. So I'm just gonna take that shot now. The other thing that you'll notice as well, I'm trying my best on the top right hand section of the image, I'm trying my best to keep the, the light out of the image because what I'm finding is happening is if I let that light creep into that top corner, it's actually blowing out and overexposing it in that top corner. And I don't want that to happen. So I'd rather keep the image flatter, but all sort of looking the same, if you can see what I mean. So if this image has turned out, I'll pop it up now. I'm also gonna take a letterbox version of that image as well, more like a pano, and I'll, uh, I'll walk you through that next. So I'm just going to go over this uh, letterbox panel that I'm doing now and I'll press record on here again so you can see. So what you can see is I've switched to this letterbox format. I'm still using that rock kind of more in the centre of the frame now because of that. And I'm still using those rocks on the outside edges of both corners to kind of balance the frame as well. I'm just going to lock focus on that rock again. Now, Looking at this now, the light's changed slightly. I'm sitting more at an eighth of a second at this, so I'm gonna try that now and see what that looks like. Now, uh, 
So yeah, that looks pretty nice at an eighth of a second as well. They're still retaining quite a lot of detail there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop both of these images up on screen. The square one and the cropped one. And let me know which one you prefer. Well guys, it's taken a good hour to get to the top of these hills here and I just want to look for something like a wider scene. I really love these sort of close-up detail shots but I wanted to kind of find something that sort of encapsulates where we are in, in this particular area of the Lake District. So we've come right up onto the top of the ridge here and there's loads more of these ice formations and everything in the stream that's heading over the top here and there might actually be some more down just below me here because there's a waterfall coming down cascading over um, but I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can find it like a wider shot there is the valley beyond here I'm just trying to see whether there's some kind of shot there's some nice light happening around and obviously we've got all this happening as well but it's a bit because you've got just a little bit of snow it's kind of messy if you know what I mean there's not enough to cover all these rocks all these rocks and it looks a bit busy so it might be a case of looking at this shot beyond, behind where you are now and uh, trying to make something of that. So just on the way back down the, the hill here, notice this scene in front of us and I quite like the holly bush over to the right hand side here and the way that this branch sweeps it down over the top. I think it kind of frames those mountains behind really, really well. Problem I've got is there's not much light happening on the foreground so that's why I want some interest in that sky back there. So I'm just kind of hanging around waiting for some interest back there to see what happens. Um, what I really want to happen is kind of obviously those clouds to kind of be interesting and some sort of texture back there because if there's nothing happening down here I really need something to uh, give the image depth and some sort of interest. So I've got myself a square crop, I'm focusing down on that bottom left kind of third just on the intersection there. I'm at a thirtieth of a second F16 ISO 100 and uh, yeah I'm just waiting for the wind to kind of die down so that the branches aren't moving and also that little bit of interest. Now the main thing I'm having to watch out for here is as you can see that branch that sweeps across over the top section there the reason why I'm almost on the floor is because I really want to keep that above the mountain ridge line over there so it doesn't intersect so I've got as low as possible I'm using the 23mm prime and I'm getting low down so I can eliminate any sort of crossover because that would be really quite distraction at least to my eyes anyway so yeah making sure I'm really low so hopefully if that turns out okay I'll pop the shot up So 
So how did you get on, considering I've not seen you all day and you've been <laughs> burying your head in a load of trees? Well, you went in one direction now and the other. <laughs> I just wanted to see the trees, so, and I got over there and there was a lot of interest, there was a lot of details on the trees. So. Right. You're not finding enough trees in Canada, like? Quite nice. <laughs> it's quite mad, isn't it? No, but I did look at the waterfall, but because it's only been a light covered in the snow, it, it looks really busy. Well, that's why I was, we were going in for like intimate shots up on the waterfall, really, yeah. and just kind of focus, focusing in on them. We went right up onto the top section, up on the top of the hill there, looking back down this uh, valley. But, yeah, it didn't, it's, wasn't really... Well, I've only just walked up there, it was sketchy. Yeah, I got, I got one shot facing back that way, but it was really sketchy going up there. There was just nothing that, as you say, with the snow and making it look messy, there was just nothing that I was... I think it's nice to come to iconic out. places and photograph what people aren't photographing well, rather yeah. than the, the big vistas. Get well, away from it. the big vistas and you'll come away with different images. Right? Yeah, well, it's definitely the way because we've photographed nothing today that's iconic really at all. Well, that's it. So you came away with something that no one else will have. More about using the conditions when we get them really. Yeah. I mean we don't get these conditions that often here. You get them quite often but we don't get them that often yeah. here where we even get snow at all so it's it's good to kind of come out when the conditions are like this. Eh? I do like a tree. I've noticed I the whole day the whole day he was buried under a tree the whole day. I thought I'll, I'll check this out next time for sure. Will you? I will do. I'm not going back up there again. Well, it's my turn. <laughs> you can go to the yew trees. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you again really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.